Hey there, I'm gonna answer the question, can I get a patent on someone else's product? Hey everybody, I'm J.D. Hoovener, patent attorney and owner and founder here at Bold Patents Law Firm. Also the author of Bold Ideas, The Inventor's Guide to Patents. I've helped over a thousand engineers and scientists, entrepreneurs achieve patent success over the years and almost 500 patents granted today. So let's take into this question about, can I get a patent on someone else's product or another product that I see on the market? And I get this question a lot, it's a good one. Unfortunately, the answer is no, you cannot. This reason really exists because of the core rule that in order to get a patent, to apply for a patent application, you have to be the inventor, all right? So you cannot just submit on behalf of someone else, um, but you can, as an applicant, be a company. And as so long as your employee is the inventor, then you can have that inventor be named as that, right, properly. But know that the assignment that the inventor will have to give to the to the company um, will have to exist as well. Because an inventor, it all comes down to them, he or she, will have to put forward all the information about the invention, enable it, make sure that it's clearly identified and described so that we all become smarter, which is part of that exchange that the patent office wants, right? You tell us how to make your invention, and then we, the government, are going to give you that 20-year monopoly to make to exclude others from making, using, or selling or importing that invention into the country. So let's dig into this a little bit more and take it one step at a time. If we have you know an individual inventor, let's say, and they're you know they're the ones that come up with the product and they want to make a ton of money, but they're like, ah, I'm not worried about patents. I just want to start selling. Okay. So that cool product that you want to get a patent on, right? You're, you're seeing it in the market. If they've been in the market for now over a year, even if they've offered for sale and they haven't sold any, but it's been on a website, published, right? For sale longer than a year, it's ineligible. Not even they, they can't even file a patent on it because it's past the one year statutory bar for being on sale or being published for more than a year. So that's another reason why it's not eligible for patenting if it's been out there that long. So on top of that, you've got the fact that you did not invent it and the fact that it's been published for more than a year. There's sort of this third topic I want to mention in this discussion, part of this question, which was really good, is, you know, if you didn't see it, let's say, <laughs> right, and you come up with the invention independently, and this is a huge you know, you know, distinction that if you came up with this invention on your own and that one year period had not ended. So let's, let's work through a hypothetical. Okay. So it's September, 2024, and you're inventing this brand new type of garage door opener device. Okay. And someone else across the world is working on the same exact invention. In fact, they've started to sell in Germany. Okay, the same type of garage door opener, almost exactly the same as yours. And it's only been six months, right? They've been selling since February, let's say 2024. And you're ready to, you, have, you don't know about that invention. You came up with an invention on your own independently here in the United States, and you want to seek protection for it. The answer there is yes, you came up with it on your own. You did not derive it from that other party you can file for it and you will win the patent race, meaning you have not that prior art um, that they'll know um, it was it was out there, but you were the one that came up with it first. You filed first, even though you didn't invent it first. And that prior art had not been out there longer than a year. Pretty cool, right? So you don't have to be the very first to invent. It's about who files it first. All right. Hope that helps encourage you inventors out there. Go out there, invent, create, and do the good work of what a bold inventor does. I'm J.D. Hoovener, founder here at Bold Patents and patent attorney, wishing you a great day. Go big, go bold.